Chapter 1, verse 2. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the world. As the first chapter of the Holy Quran begins with this verse, it reminds Muslims that their purpose of existence is to praise Allah, the exalted, meaning, to obey Him. All the things they have been granted in this world must be seen as a means to praising Allah, the exalted, by using them in ways pleasing to Him. The one who fails to do this, has failed to recognize their purpose. This will lead to an empty and meaningless existence. Chapter 51, verse 56. And I did not create the jinn and mankind, except to worship me. Before one can worship Allah, the exalted, they must first recognize him as it is not possible to obey someone without knowledge. In addition, People must first learn how to worship Allah, the exalted, before they can fulfill this task. Therefore, worship is followed by knowledge. This is why in a hadith found in Sunan ibn Imajah, number 224, the holy prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, declared seeking useful knowledge a duty on all Muslims. Without knowledge one will never be able to worship Allah, the exalted, correctly. Few good deeds performed with knowledge are far superior to many good deeds performed incorrectly because of ignorance. As Allah, the Exalted, is the one who created mankind no one has the right to be served and worshipped except him. If an employer easily dismisses their employee for abandoning the duty they have been hired for, how can it be correct to abandon serving and worshipping Allah, the Exalted? when he alone created and sustains the creation. All of mankind have been granted free will and the ability to obey and worship Allah, the exalted. So each person must decide whether they desire to fulfill their purpose of creation thereby receiving eternal reward or reject it and face punishment in both worlds. The same way a device, such as a mobile phone, which does not fulfill its primary purpose is discarded people may well be discarded on the day of judgment into hell for failing to fulfill their primary purpose of existence. It is important to note, that worship refers to the obedience of Allah, the exalted. This involves fulfilling his commands, refraining from his prohibitions and facing destiny with patience according to the traditions of the holy prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This obedience must encompass every part of one's life and body, such as their tongue. It includes a person's duty towards Allah, the exalted, such as offering the prayer and treating the creation with kindness. Those who obey Allah, the exalted, will be given the best rewards while those who disobey him will receive the worst punishment in this world and the next. In a divine hadith found in Jamia Timizi, number 2466, the holy prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, narrates from Allah, the exalted, who declares that if one busies themselves in worshipping him, through sincere obedience, he will fill their heart with richness and remove their poverty. But if they turn away from his worship and obedience Allah, the exalted, will fill their life with problems and not remove their poverty. It is important to note, that Allah, the exalted, does not need the creation in any way whatsoever, as clearly mentioned in a hadith found in Sahih Muslim, number 6572, people only benefit themselves with their good deeds as it raises their ranks, and they only harm themselves with their sins as they will be held accountable for them. The infinite status of Allah, the exalted, does not change at all irrespective of if the entire creation worshipped him or not. Allah, the exalted, is the sole creator and sole provider, it is people who are completely and utterly in need of him. Whoever understands this and sincerely obeys Allah, the exalted, will fulfill the purpose of their creation and will therefore be given an eternal reward. In addition, the Holy Quran begins with praising Allah, the Exalted, and this praise is recited at the beginning of the prayer as well. In addition, according to the Holy Quran the chapter of life connected to this world will end when Muslims enter paradise and praise Allah, the Exalted. Chapter 10, verse 10. And the last of their call will be, Praise to Allah, Lord of the worlds. The fact that the beginning and end is connected to praising Allah, the Exalted, clearly indicates an important lesson namely, everything in between the beginning and end should also be dedicated to praising Allah, the Exalted. 
This is not only done through one's words but by through one's actions by fulfilling the commands of Allah, the exalted, refraining from his prohibitions and facing destiny with patience according to the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This includes the duties concerning others, such as one's dependents and using every blessing one possesses in ways pleasing to Allah, the exalted. This does not mean one should abandon the material world completely, but it means one should not forget this vital lesson and their purpose of existence and therefore prioritize acting on it over all other things. The same way a person who has been hired for a specific job would get fired if they busied themselves with doing other duties instead of those connected to their job so will a Muslim who fails to fulfill the purpose of their creation. When a person gets fired from a job they only lose their job but if someone gets fired by Allah, the exalted, they will lose peace of mind in this world and eternal bliss in the next.